So this is the place I've been talking about, the anatomy department. Anatomy is a study of human bodies and how the location and the, and the structures of each organ affects each other. And in the anatomy department, there's also a cadaver surgical training unit. In anatomy, medical students learn on models and also cadaver, which means dead corpse. And some of our teachers actually say that the dead corpse are one of our biggest teachers because thanks to them, we may have the materials to study anatomy and know how the human body looks like. The room that I want to take you to is the experiential operating room. This is used to, you know, show the operations to learners and also to practice how to do surgery. So normally when you step in a room like this, you're gonna wash your hand right here. Yeah, this is where we wash our hands and um, in medical study there's a technique or sterilized washing hands so it lowered the bacteria in our hands mm -hmm. and ensure the safety for patients before wearing gloves. Mm -hmm. After wearing sterile gloves, surgeons then step inside of this thorough zone. I see it's, it's marked blue, uh, this, so yes, is that the is zone? painted in blue. Most Purposely. of the thing in the surgery and surgeon room is painted in blue. Do you know why it's in blue? Um, yes, of course. Um, it's, you know blood is red, right? Uh -huh. So blue helps um, surgeon's eye to feel better and then they can oh. work better in like all red situation. Very, very interesting fact. Today I learned thanks to you. <laughs> and so, so please look at the surgery system. Mm -hmm. You can see the lighting system here. This is a very important part of the system. It uh, creates light but not heat for better visions for surgeons to oh. look better. So it's not too hot. It's yeah. not going to affect the, mm -hmm. the operation down here. Mm -hmm. How MD. much time does it take you to really, you know, like digest all of these knowledge and t fully absorb it in? Um, Mm -hmm. You know, to be honest, we learn it through time, mm -hmm. through practicing on cadaver and through looking at this figure, mm -hmm. um, you know, years by years. But at UMP, students get to do a lot of practice, a lot of hands-on experience, not only on the, um, the Sam body that we just saw upstairs, mm -hmm. but also on the cadavers, on each other, and then we get to see what goes on in the operating room from the camera in this machine, right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, this is one of the most advanced um, operating room in the southern region, is it? Um, yes, of course. It's, I think that is the most advanced one in the south of Vietnam. That's very interesting. Thank you, Ming, for being such a great tour guide today and being a friend that shows us around the University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Ho Chi Minh City. I have personally learned a lot and I hope you did too. We get to experience a different kind of lab rooms and experimental learning that the med students get to go through throughout their practice and throughout their career of a med student. Um, Ming? I hope you have more insight of a student life today mm -hmm. and know how our med students do our hands-on experience. Um, thank you for coming today and thank you for being a great host. I hope you to meet you again one day. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Ming. Thank you to the University of Medicines and Pharmacy at Ho Chi Minh City. We have learned so much today, and we can't wait to see you in the next episode. That's it for IFO on the go of today. Back to you, studio. See you again. Bye. Bye.